The impact of rubber plantations on deforestation in Southeast Asia has been significantly underestimated, according to new research published in Nature. This study, which used satellite data to produce high-resolution maps of rubber-driven forest loss since 1993, reveals that the problem is far more severe than previously believed. The research findings highlight that over 4 million hectares of tropical forests have been lost to rubber plantations in Southeast Asia over the last three decades, which is two to three times higher than previous estimates. More concerning is the fact that over 1 million hectares of these plantations have been established in key biodiversity areas. The greatest forest losses were recorded in Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia making these countries significant contributors to deforestation. Notably, Cambodia stands out, with over 40% of rubber plantations being associated with deforestation, including 19% in key biodiversity areas. These findings carry important implications for both domestic and global policy. Rubber production is responsible for more deforestation than previously assumed impacting policy development in the European Union and the G7. While the study sheds light on the environmental cost of rubber production, it's important to acknowledge that rubber is a substantial and sustainable income source for smallholder farmers with notable climate benefits. The challenge lies in balancing the economic benefits with environmental conservation. Rubber has a long history of use and was traditionally tapped from trees by indigenous peoples of Mesoamerica. Today, Southeast Asia accounts for 90% of global rubber production. Closely linked to tropical deforestation, primarily driven by global market consumption. One of the challenges in addressing rubber-related deforestation is the difficulty in monitoring smallholder plantations that are often less than 5 hectares in size. Rubber plantations also resemble forests in satellite images, further complicating efforts to distinguish between them. The research calls for a balanced approach that encourages smallholder production, while ensuring that rubber expansion doesn't lead to continued deforestation. Educating farmers, minimizing deforestation, and promoting cooperative efforts are seen as vital steps in this direction. The study underscores the need to reevaluate the impact of rubber production on deforestation and highlights the importance of considering the broader context in which various commodities are produced, traded, and consumed. Ultimately, the challenge is to produce essential commodities optimally while preserving the environment. Thanks for watching. Please see citation in the description.